nose faces the rear. The front tilts electrically. These are electric life, L-I-F-E, uh, screw jacks, if you will. And this was the original intent to use these type of devices to open the front and rear. Turned out we, it was easier to use these for the front and then obviously in the air for the rear. And next thing we're going to do is resheet the, uh, the running boards and continue working on the front end. You see all sorts of cuts and patches and pieces pushed in to clear this fender. Um, and so we have a little work left to do there, but we've done a tremendous amount of work around the edges, making a hard edge, cleaning up the underside, a little more uh, bracing. We've built a tow bar at the front, uh, detachable, just four bolts. Uh, that'll help in showcasing the car. The transfer case will sit between the wheels on that cross member. And uh, we're ready to start going battery tray, transfer case, and if we can get some sponsors, electronics. Uh, the weight up there will be a good thing because this is going to want to lift the front tires when you hit the gas. There's been a lot of metal work done on the car. Clearly, I mean, as you see here, the gapping and all that. Um, running boards are pretty long. Pretty arty piece. Doesn't look it, but it's quite the deal. Our gaps are very, very tight. Our gaps on the whole truck will be 8 inch. That's impressive. Um, the front end is, you know, almost a dozen pieces of metal at this point. If you look at the inside seams, you can look at the outside as well, but uh, you can see where pieces have been joined together. So we've got two outer fender pieces, two inner fenders, two dart pieces we call them. And then the, this hood has been cut, pinched, slit again, widened. I mean, there are, there's a dozen or more different pieces of metal that have been cut and modified and put back together. Patch panels, uh, headlight openings, uh, the subframe around the grill, that's been doubled up. Um, these have all been modified. And there's, there's still a bit more to do, but this is getting close to its finished uh, product. So we, we decided on a late model VW headlight. But I do like the lens, so I think what we're going to do, we were going to tilt them up a little more uh, vertically. There, there it is at that rate. But the fact is, we thought that the headlight was really going to sit about like this. And there would be this metal taper behind it. So we may end up with this uh, positioning, but the headlight which we were going to use is probably going to be, may have different guts in it. We'll probably just use the lens and build a different kind of a light inside it. how good the fit is when this thing comes down onto the cowl. Still a little adjusting to do, but we're right there at our eighth inch. And that's before Mondo. So this headlight in the real world has about that rake to it. And that's not bad. So we might leave it. I'm most proud of the, uh, the front end work on this truck. This is, this is such a dramatic change. The hood was 10 inches higher. The truck was 7 inches higher. So that hood was about a foot and a half higher than it is now. And uh, we've made this flow really nicely into uh, quite a, a sculptured piece. You know, details like this dart, which had to be cut and built all the way to here. You know, this is a, this is a nice accent in the, in the piece. The original truck had uh, a shorter bed. It was, we lengthened it this much, two feet. But it had this detail right here. Uh, we call it sort of a, like a chair leg or a corbel, little sculptured thing. Uh, so we've built extensions of that down to here. You might have noticed when the truck came down, it stopped dead on that. And when we're done, we'll, we'll uh, with filler, we'll make this match, this profile match here perfectly so it'll just be one leg all the way to the bottom. The, um, the fenders have been kicked a little bit, they're pushed out a bit for, to, to clear the tires. Um, 
we had to remake all the bolts and mounting for this. And then we had to cut this and lengthen it, and so we patched it in there. And we've got a little bit of work to do still at the front where this meets the fender. We haven't got our final fender perimeter metal in, so as soon as we do that, as soon as we get this stiffened up, then we're going to extend this running board in, into this area. If you watch and observe the gap, that's a nearly perfect eighth inch all the way around and in metal. That's without any filler of any kind to bring these surfaces together. So when we're done, the only thing that filler might do would be to take one surface adjacent to the other and just level them, you know, like this area right across here. But the gapping all got to be just nearly perfect in metal.